I'm doing a mini session for a client. There aren't any goals, so I'm gonna be seeing what the wisdom is and the healing is that spirit wants to share today. So I'm gonna relax and get tuned in. very peaceful right now. It's almost like it wants to be water, but it's not quite water. It's more like a, an amber flowing stream of energy. It wants to be blue in color, like a turquoise, um, really beautiful aqua blue even, just different shades of blue. And it wants to flow like water, um, but it's more amber and it does flow, but it's not quite there yet, all right? But there is this uh, beautiful beam of light, just a beam of white light that is shining down from above as well. There's a lot involved here with the heart. There's also energy in the back of the head, energy coming from above. It seems to want to tap into like the crown chakra, the third eye. Hmm. So we have what you could define as what we want, okay? The aqua blue colors, the water flow. But then we have what we have, which is this amber energy. And I start to see these two streams um, kind of... Um, tie each other together like a DNA strand. And, I, and it looks like a really pretty friendship bracelet, you know, like you could make back in camp. And um, it's just a spiral twist of uh, gold, like amber golden, and then like aqua blue. And they make a spiral twist. And I experience friendship and friendship bracelets. I understand. Okay, I see what we need to do. The next thing is we're going to go down, <laughs> which is basically um, nothing negative here. We're just going to be more whole and more tuned into the root and the grounding energies. Because um, what I'm tapping into, it's very beautiful to look at. It's very peaceful. It's flowing, um, doesn't matter if it's amber or it's blue, like the energy is flowing, there's this beautiful beam of light. Um, but I feel um, as though there needs to be like a coming down to earth um, energetically, um, and that's going to reveal the next thing, okay? <laughs> it's almost like you could be adept at and knowing how to tune into relaxation or peaceful energy flow um, type vibes. And then how do we, there, there's a definite need to come down and be in the feet, okay? There's a need to come down and be in the feet. And I, I don't know how to explain it just yet, but it, the only way I could describe it is it's going to be more practical. It's going to feel more practical. And um, when we're more practical, now these types of meditative, um, peaceful, flowing energies that could be more like a fantasy um, start to integrate into our physical reality. So it's almost like you become the friendship bracelet. You become intertwined between the physical and the, the spirit realm. Is the spirit realm, the aqua blue water flowing, the amber golden is you or you feeling like you're not quite there yet or, um, but there's a merging of the two. And then as we come down, there's a feeling of being more tuned into oneself and feeling more practical about something that is spiritual. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it right now.
I'm really settling you in, okay? Really settling you in here. You're like a balloon full of helium, like you're ready to go to higher dimensions, higher dimensions again and again and again. What if the highest dimension you could be is right here on Earth? What if this is the highest dimension? But we're not able to tap into it because we're always uh, choosing to leave it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what if the, the answer to the riddle is right here beneath our feet, you know? It feels like it's always out there with the stars and the galaxies and the intergalactic beings and interdimensional beings and our angels and all that. Um, but then we lose sight of something that is more solid. Um, it's kind of our birthright, uh, Mother Earth, and the manifestation of these physical bodies that we're experiencing. I will say this is the most peaceful... <laughs> I feel like I'm chill right now. Really, really chilled out. <laughs> yeah. Your energy is really relaxing. It is very, very relaxing. It's like uh, when you dim the lights and you get the incense going and the music. Um, and then you lay down and you're getting a, ma a massage, okay? <laughs> and it smells wonderful and the lighting's just right and you just want to kind of let yourself go into wherever you go from there. <laughs> and your energy field has that vibe to it. It's really wonderful. It doesn't actually feel um, disoriented to bring you down um, to feel the earth beneath your feet. That's not disorienting. Sometimes when um, it feels, the energy feels as though it's just like kind of, um, you ever see a pictures of women underwater and their hair is kind of everywhere and they're wearing this like a kind of exotic, like, <clears throat> like a lot of satin cloth and it's just kind of like going everywhere underwater. Your energy is kind of like um, very beautiful to look at and um, kind of flowing everywhere, um, captivating, you know, very peaceful and um, a lot of the element of water going on here and flow, the energy of what, what feels like things are flowing, okay? So even, I'm, I'm solidifying you, I'm bringing you together more, so you're gonna feel more solid, okay? And you can flow and be solid at the same time. And it's not jarring for you. I mean, sometimes when I do this, it's like, whoa, <laughs> wow, I forgot what that felt like, you know, but it, it's not like that for you. You know what this feels like. You feel um, okay to be becoming more of more solid, I guess, is the way I, I could describe that. And there's the color orange really showing up here now. You're wanting something. You're reaching out for something. Again, there's no... Um, I'm not running into any kind of uh, vulnerability, insecurity, or trauma. I feel um, it's all very flowing and natural and tuned into the spirit realm. We're just tuning you into the earth energies more. Helping you to feel more solid or grounded. Um, you're very, you feel very natural with your flowing energy. You also feel natural when it kind of comes together and forms into more of a singular shape, I guess you could say, with all of that just flowing within yourself. So you feel more collected, I guess you could say. Hmm. All right. We're finally down. We're finally on the ground, okay? That's when something unexpected happens. I don't know how to understand it just yet, but basically you're on the ground and it's a red dirt and it's kind of dry, but it's, it's fine, you know? And you're looking up and the sun is really, really bright and it's almost white in color. It's a very large white sun. It's basically what it looks like and a red planet and this isn't mars by the way um, but the rate the beams of light are almost like ropes 
almost like um, a fishing wire that you could kind of catch and it's it's like it would take you up into the sun. But there's an issue here because um, the light of the sun is very bright and for some reason you have a, a line that goes through um, that cuts what is really bright up above and kind of um, the shadow is beneath. So we have this strip of the shadow and the super bright up above. And this is disoriented. This feels like um, a clash, um, an I need help moment. And I just snap my fingers and I say, wake up. And it's also saying, well, where are you? You have to acknowledge where you are right now. It's also saying, well, why are you putting yourself into this situation? Why are you choosing to be here where it's disorienting you? You want to be, you, you're, it's almost like, you're choosing to be density, you're choosing to be present, you're choosing to exist, um, even in the physical form, like we were bringing you down to earth. But when you chose to be present and grounded, you chose a different location, you didn't choose this planet. The thing is, you're on this planet. And so I need to catch you up to speed with yourself. And you keep saying you don't want to, you don't want to be fully on earth. And part, and what you tell me is that the red dirt of this planet um, is safer for you because our earth has so much blood in the ground. I mean, that's how you are paralleling this. Um, you show me our planet earth and it says it looks like ground, but it is red ground. It is covered in blood. This is actually just the color of the ground here. And you don't want to be fully, your feet fully on the ground of a planet that is full of blood. And I say, well, you're on a planet that is like this. You have to be on this planet. Because you won't be fully, like you won't um, be your totality. You won't be all that you are unless you make the choice to do that. To be fully present here. But you're like, ah, no, 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 no. Like, it really just, just bothers your soul, like, a lot. I mean, it's like putting on dirty clothes that haven't been washed in a year, you know? <laughs> it's like, yuck, no, I, I won't do that. <laughs> kind of like that. I just uh, plant a seed of love and light in your heart and I, I wave and I say, I'm going to go back to the earth now and when you're ready to come join me, I would be so happy um, if you would like to. And it looks kind of lonely here. Maybe there's an opportunity for you to help heal the planet and everything it's been through. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe we need to clean that dirty laundry, like clean the planet. Maybe we need you to help us all with that process. And maybe you need to embrace um, your role or your purpose here. Instead of avoiding or running away. But it doesn't feel as though you're running away. It just feels like you have a very strong and solid choice to not be me present on earth for your own specific reasons but yet you are here on earth so you have to embrace that but embracing who you are and your purpose is also going to help him you embrace being here you you should really explore what you have a i will say your energy field has a really interesting um a lot to do with the element of water and so you could think about what the element of water means to you and there's got to be a pure, you must have a purification type role here on planet earth because water is a purifying thing um, and it, it, it washes us all clean, it washes the planet clean. Um, it transmutes, water is incredible, it's, it's incredibly powerful. 
And so if you're coming here with a lot of information, a lot of soul um, wisdom about the element of water, there's something to that. So embrace who you are in this life, embrace your soul journey and what you know. Um, you probably know a lot more than just about the element of water, but that's what's coming up here. Um, and really explore saying, I'm ready. I'm on earth. Show me what my role is. I'm ready to discover it um, more fully. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for this experience. I feel so relaxed. I, I'm like all hyper and excited to get started for the day. And entering into your energy feels like, wow, I, I feel like I'm gonna go to the masseuse and the lights i feel like beautiful images of women with flowing cloth and hair under water i i feel like this captivating flow it doesn't matter if it's amber or blue they're both beautiful and they're kind of blending together now in a friendship <laughs> it's, like, it's like fun it's beautiful you know um, so I'm glad we got to the part where we can we can discover something um, and tune into what is that and bring it into harmony and balance with who you are right now. You know what I mean? So thank you very much and thank you for being open to sharing with others. Um, for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I also have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. Um, I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash Abby Normal's Wisdom Quest. Have a great day, everybody.